Hey, what's up everybody? It's Monday, October 19th. And it is Monday, so just a reminder, I sent out the new issue of MMT Trader. If you want to get that, go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com and sign up for a 30-day free trial. Remember, I'm the only one who has an applied approach to MMT. I take the concepts and understandings of MMT and I apply them to investing and trading, understanding the, uh, you know, the macroeconomic outlook, basic conditions. I, I always say you got to know basic conditions from there. You can uh, decide on a strategy and you know, what's going to be working and what's not going to be working. So let's go over the situation. Frankly, I was a little bit surprised by today's sell off. This is another one of those days where we were infected by, you know, stimulus headlines or a lack of stimulus headlines. So the market had jitters and it sold off. Now, you know, I've been of the uh, point of view that additional stimulus is not necessary. That's not to say it wouldn't be nice. I know there's a lot of people out there suffering and they're running out of unemployment benefits and you know that's bad but we are still at historic levels of government spending and that's got to flow somewhere. I mean you know it's not all equally distributed as I've said many times but a good portion of that spending is going to flow to corporate profits and that's what the stock market's looking at. So I know a lot of people would say the market's detached from reality and you could definitely make that case when you see a lot of people struggling but the market is focused on corporate profits and in addition to that you have big mega cap companies that have an inordinate influence on the market averages and they're just dragging it up. I mean these companies are sucking up all that fiscal stimulus in the form of profits. You know we're talking about the big tech companies, Amazon of course, Microsoft, Apple, Google and a handful of others. So that's the reality uh, and uh, it's going to stay that way as long as fiscal remains where it is. Now if we get another spending pack, and let, before I get into that, let me mention something else because there's kind of like a new hope and fear, you know, that popped up, and that is what they're calling the blue wave. Even Goldman Sachs is talking about this. The blue wave is a democratic sweep president, Senate, House of Representatives. Well, they already have the House of Representatives, but if they take the Senate and if they get the presidency, uh, Goldman Sachs and other market observers are saying, hey, that's a bullish scenario. And the reason they're saying that is because uh, they anticipate we're going to get another big stimulus. Now, you know, that's not certain. That's their call. I'm not sure until I see it. But anyway, that's kind of like what the market is banking on right now. So we have an additional, you know, headline trade going on um, on top of uh, the one that I mentioned, you know, about stimulus. We have the, the blue wave headline uh, effect that is going on. And of course, we also have the bad news coming out of the coronavirus, the spikes that are occurring right now, the, the renewed resurgence of coronavirus. So there's a lot to scare people and you get these kind of mini, you know, panics, these market sell oh, there's not going to be a stimulus or, you know, maybe it's not going to be a blue wave. Uh, but they're buying opportunities. Again, as long as the fiscal stays at least at the level where it is right now. I mean, that money's got to flow somewhere. And it is flowing to the big companies and it is supporting corporate profits and that's going to remain the case. So um, those pullbacks, you got to use them to buy. Anyway, a lot more plus uh, additional stuff in my report today. All the banking data, the fiscal flows are in there um, and a lot of other stuff. Go to my website, pitbulleconomics.com. Sign up for a 30-day free trial of MMT Trader. See everybody tomorrow. Bye-bye.